Hey, what's Devo? What's going on, everybody? Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm just going to be doing a box showcase about, you know, rank 100. Um, they did bring out uh, two times EXP for for this new, like, celebration with Diane. She is here. Uh, pretty good unit. I would say if you don't want to summon, I can't really just tell you to be like, yeah, bro, you must summon, bro. I feel like she's good. And she, like, I've seen better. So, uh. Smack that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, turn on notifications, and let's get into it. I guess we could just walk through my account. Um, Rank 100 was achieved, so off the rip, you already know you got 109 stamina. That's pretty good. I think with uh, Rank 90, you can get 100. If I'm not tripping, I may, not, I may be mistaken. I feel like 100 was the, the thing to get. Also, um, at Rank 100, you get a maximum of 54 friends. That is a lot of friendship points. I'm not going to lie. I'm only at 46, and it's, it's already a lot from, from, from just having that much. So having nearly, like, 10 more friends is, like, literally stupid. Because I think, how many you get from, like, um... I get, like, 1,800 from 46. So if you're at 50, I think you could probably get 2,000. So quick math, that being 54, you can get over, like, 2200 friend points a day essentially which is like five pvp tickets so you can literally just go crazy in terms of pvp um also uh this is uh the box 7.732 amazing has put, been pushing me to uh increase my box cc i know in tlc i was number four uh i did some pushing last night and i think i am number three now uh no not no no, Dango, that's, that's not it. Here, here it is. I'm third in TLC. I used to be number two behind the Mammoth. That is Yamcha. Uh, now E&D is number two. And I'm pushing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a push. Um, right now, all I can do is really just like farm gear and gold. And just start working on random pieces. Not random pieces. Just start maxing out like the belts and rooms of units. Because, you know, that increases like the most um cc overall now not really even like focusing on like you can work on like the the rare pieces of uh some units like let me let me show you for instance uh let's say a random unit i think he has like common gear on like like see these bottom two pieces they have rare pieces and i try to re-roll a perfect re-roll of three percent i don't really care about that right now i just really try to focus on the main hp re-roll stats because I feel like that's going to be the biggest contribution. And also, uh, if I'm not working on them, I'll probably just put like, I'll put like SSR placeholders because when I do get to them eventually with rare gear, I could just work on, you know, that unit, that piece specifically. But since I can't get to everybody at once, you got to put placeholders on some units. Now, every unit doesn't have SSR gear or SSR placeholder gear, as I, as I would say. Uh, some of them just have rare you know, for the time being, um, like Chandler, I think I finished his stuff. I think I might actually, um, work on the, the top pieces to defense. I really, I really couldn't give a crap about, but at the end of the day, it might count towards some CC, but when I get there, I'll get there. But right now I'm not there. I'm not nowhere near, <laughs> near there. So, uh, yeah, in terms of like favorite units, um, I, <laughs> You already know Roxy. I'm Roxy. I'm the Roxy guy. How's your guy? They're a special place in my heart, bro. Um, if I had to choose which house is probably my favorite. Um, even though I love all of them, I would have to say the blue one's probably my favorite just because his detonate AOE is goes stupid with his passive and his holy relic increases his, his uh, attack related stats, which is pretty good uh, because he doesn't have the best stats. It used to be the red one. Like he he was good for he he is still good for farming actually he, even better with his holy relic. I would still have to say the blue one just because he has gauge control that being a card and his ultimate and a detonate AOE which just goes just goes stupid. Um, Roxy, if I had to choose which Roxy was my favorite, I would have to say honestly, and I'm not even being biased. The biased, I mean the red one. The red one just is is pretty good, bro. Buff removal, and she has an explode that's basically die damage. I think that's pretty sick. The blue one is good because she can just filter ultimates. That's all right, you know, but I just, the red one just has a special place in my heart. So, um, the green one is not bad whatsoever. I think I have a five, six. I'm actually missing one copy. So, when she comes back, probably like Halloween, I'll probably try to get her, but it, no promises. Um, in terms of the festival units, we got QSAC. 
uh, Margaret Bond. I don't know why she's up here like she's a festival unit. Soldiers, the best backline unit to ever grace this game. Festival Merlin T1. Um, who else is, am I missing? I think, uh, oh, some of the newer units are down here, actually. We got Diane, Malachi, a little bit of support. Um, Scotty, Countersariel, uh, Big Sword Melly, Fesco out there. I feel like he hasn't gotten a lot of play recently because he's just, he's kind of nowhere to be found, actually. Uh, who else in terms of festivals? Uh, nobody really talks about LV anymore, even though he, he was like the first guy. There he is. I, I haven't seen him in ages, bro. <laughs> but, uh, Goddess Ellie, I did not get her SA6 just because I feel like mine suck. So that's why I probably still hold some resentment towards it. But um, in terms of the fest units, uh, we got T1's Relic, Merlin's Relic, Bond's Relic. Uh, those are the really festivals who only got relics, right? Until they come out with, like, Gother. Or somebody else who's like dead. I feel like they always try to bring out a relic for somebody who's like kind of like on the back burner of like PvP. And then when they come out with a relic, they're like, yeah, they're just like prominent, bro. They're just like killer. Um, but yeah, uh, we, everyone's geared. Uh, this is the gear thing that actually changed it. Everyone has on some type of gear, whether it being ridiculous for them specifically, or everyone primarily has hp defense if they have on something different it's probably a special reason or, or something like if i scroll you might see like triple crit resist for hauser or something like that uh where is it there it's triple crit resist for housing because he scales off crit resist and then <laughs> tech crit defense i don't know what that is there for bro but uh it, it's probably a reason past Devo is the wild uh not too many holy relics. I have not been farming a bird as much as I should be, bro. I just, I don't know, man. Like, in terms of holy relics, I really don't try to grind them that hard for myself. It's because I know Yamcha is, like, going to get them. Like, it's like, it's like that. So, it's like, I'm going to showcase it on his account. His account is, like, nearly 10 million bucks, you see. So, like, I kind of, like, lost motivation. But high key, that is, a, like, a good, like, push towards the CC. So, I might actually get on that. And get all these um holy relics so it can like give me at least to like I can I think I can get to no I can't get to seven point eight probably with uh, other new units and stuff like that. Here are the max level ultimates. Um, uh, I guess this is a great way to show uh, this this box like this update with Diane actually did, came with all these like features so you can see everything that's six six Margaret Bond Arthur Merlin Nanashi T one. OG Fest King, so all the Archangels, bro. Um, and then you can see like what what you're missing in your box easily. You don't have to like click on it and be like, man, I gotta I gotta see like what to get, man. <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. We can take a look at some other features. This is um just like passives. I don't know what they added this for. Like, unless you can like click on the icon, it's like kind of pointless. What's the point of adding that? This is the affinity meter. Uh, you can see the, all the. All the collab units don't have affinity meters because, you know, they're collab units. They're not, like, a main staple in this game. Uh, yeah. You can literally just, like, point out easily, like, who's a collab character. And then I believe that, well, yeah, gear, holy relic, alt level, passive icon for some reason, and then um, affinity. So in terms of constellation, this is how far I am. I'm actually on the this one at 44.7%. I don't have any, like, gp anymore i think i only have like 62 but yeah this is pretty much just like an update on how my box has been going essentially uh in terms of missing units oh I, that was actually the place to actually be in terms of missing units all i'm missing is green ragnarok maryland christmas 2.0 ellie down for liz christmas elaine blue Oz on hawk christmas awaken lilia that's the top PvP. I won't count them. Top PvP, top PvP. I won't count those three. Halloween Slater, uh, Ragnarok Melly, and then Halloween Diane. Which I will. I, I plan on actually getting her. So I'm gonna be missing like high key seven, seven characters because I'm not counting these guys. These are top, top, a hundred PvP rewards. So uh, theoretically, I'd be able to get. Most of the characters I'm missing, not most of them, just one, because I'm praying that I could pull her on this banner, man. I'm actually praying. <laughs> I don't need nothing else other than, well, Ragnarok Dan getting a dupe of her. I wouldn't be mad at it, or um, Matrona, 
or green drove. Getting those, oh, or, or, I'm sorry, or Halloween, <laughs> not Halloween, uh, wedding, Diane. I'll take all of them, bro. Um, let me know who you would want from this giant banner. Um, it's, it's pretty good because some of these Dianes are like very niche and applicable in certain situations. I know this, this one was good for like two final bosses or something like that. Matrona is just blue Matrona. That's, that's really it. Um, in terms of everything else, uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, if y'all want to see like my storage, that, that's pretty much nothing. I'm kind of low on Demon Mask right now because I was pushing box to see how many pendants I have. 200, but it's going to go down from here because I'm just going to try to get everyone up. Don't have many anvils, don't have many hammers, uh, tickets. I mean, I've been going hard for like, for like past day just because I'm amazing. I'm so, he's like, yo, bro, I'm pushing box cc yeah i'm just like david get to it man you're falling down the tlc but yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to update y'all um on my my box overall and i think my team cc yeah i'm number two in tlc with 284 if you, if you go over here and look right now it's actually not geared but trust me bro pre-registered oh y'all is at 99 yo <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, in terms of TLC, I think we might be the only two who are actually at or at or about to be at um, rank 100. So that's what I'm doing. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed the video, smack that like button, subscribe for more Grand Cross content. Um, thank y'all for sticking with me. You know, I don't say it much, but I appreciate y'all for, you know, uh, subbing to the channel, showing me love, you know, leaving encouraging comments and stuff like that. But peace out. Y'all stay good, and I'll see y'all in the next one. All right.